Hi everybody, um, we are up to what I believe is episode 5 of Sunday Sessions, and to be honest it probably should be about episode 8, um, yeah, so, <laughs> anyway, Mayor Culpa, today I'm looking at uh, Galatians chapter 5, uh, verse 1. Uh, and it reads as follows. It is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. So, the things that we have to kind of uh, decide in this is, um, what is freedom? How has Christ set us free? And what are we slaves to? What are we slaves to now? What were we slaves to um, that we needed to be set free by Christ? So we'll take it one uh, step at a time. We'll go from the start. So it's, it's for freedom that Christ has set us free. Now... The freedom that we have in Christ, it's pretty special. It's a freedom from the fear of death, because in Christ is life eternal. And I would say that that's probably... So we were just having a conversation about this today after church but that's probably the biggest thing that people are scared of ever I was going to say in this day and age but really ever is dying because I suppose you could look at it in terms of like you know what's, what's the point of what's the point of attaining and what's the point of working all of your life if at the end of it it's just nothing. The kind of, there would be no point. Um, so we're, we are free from that um, in choosing to accept the calling of, of God and accepting the sacrifice of Jesus. And it says that Christ has set us free. So how exactly does he set us free? Basically, it's through his sacrifice. So like I've said in other videos, or at least one other video, you are bound to death by your sin. There's no way around it. The only thing that can atone for sin is a blood sacrifice. You might not like the sound of that, but that's uh, that's what God wants, and what God wants, God gets. The old way to do that, basically, was to uh, make a blood sacrifice of a perfect animal. And um, the law is actually a little bit flexible in that uh, you know, it was, a, it, was, it was supposed to be a, like a calf. You know, in the field, not on the back of your leg. Um, but obviously, the, some people couldn't afford that. So there was tiers of things, you know, down to, uh, you know, goats. Goats? No, I don't think goats were on the list. But like doves, birds, such and such and whatever. So there was a way for you to... Um, make a blood sacrifice to atone for your sin. So it's blood sacrifice, burnt, burnt sacrifices, that kind of thing. The, with the problem with that, though, what God actually demanded was a perfect sacrifice. And in a broken world, there is no such thing as a perfect sacrifice. So, the way that Jesus sets us free from death is through the sacrificing of his blood 
the blood of a man who lived perfectly. The one and only once and forever perfect sacrifice. So, we gain our freedom from death through Jesus' perfect sacrifice. That's how he sets us free. That's the freedom that we gain. And that's how we get it. So it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. So the second part in here, I guess, which would be 5.1b. Stand firm, then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Now, to be honest, that shouldn't be very difficult for anybody to understand, really. Uh, because we know what it is um, to be a slave, when you think of it in terms of, uh, you know, bonded, bonded slavery. It, you know, where you are held captive, you know, that kind of, that kind of slavery. But we can be slaves to things, um, we can definitely be slaves to emotions. And so what this is, what this is to me is that Those little things that are bound up in your in your earthly life, all those things that you try to fill that Jesus-shaped hole with, all those things, uh, whether it be money, alcohol, sex, Xbox, <laughs> uh, you know, which is which is definitely. Definitely something that I struggle with. You know, things that things that take you away from God. Things that divide your attention. The passage is saying that once you've attained that freedom through Christ, don't allow yourself to be, uh, would they say, burdened, um, with the with the yoke of slavery, um, which I'm, I would not be very surprised if there's people watching this video that don't understand what a yoke is. It's not the yellow bit in the middle of the egg that they're talking about here. What a yoke is is basically you would put it on a beast, um, and it's like a it's like a wooden stick. Oh, it's not a stick, but it's like a, a wooden thing that that's affixed to a beast um, that means that they can pull things like a plow uh, or, you know, whatever, a carriage or something like that. And it's, it's symbolic language used at its best because that's what it's like when you have something in your life that holds you down, slows you down, something that you drag along with you, something that makes your life harder for having to carry it. Um, and all of those things you will eventually lose because all of this thing, these things that we're, we're, you know, bonded to in our earthly life won't matter at the end of life. The, you know, these are these are these are burdens and things that you that you struggle to carry around with you while you're here on earth. But the thing is, you won't have to deal with them. Once your life here, your earthly life is over. And having having realized um, your salvation through Christ, 
then there's not much reason why you would keep on dragging those things around with you. So, you know, therein, obviously there are things like emotions and habits that are, that are hard to let go of. But what the scripture is saying is that you can let it go. You can let those things that you've been carrying around with you go. And you don't need to pick them up. You don't need to carry that anymore. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> like I said, like, like I've said on a lot of videos, I am no theologian. Uh, I am definitely no scholar. My high school will tell you that, Penrose High School. Um, but that's what I take from that passage. And, um, I mean, if anybody else has... Um, a different thought on what that could mean or how that could be interpreted then I'd love to see it uh, down in the comments um, definitely leave something down there if um, you know if you want to do that because I'm always up for discussion I know that currently the majority of these people um, <laughs> the people that watch these videos are uh, either related to me by blood or by the blood of Christ so I will generally bump into them and talk to them at least you know, once every couple of weeks or something, so, but, um, you know, if I don't know you, first of all, how you going, uh, but yeah, feel free to leave a comment down there, so we'll just one more time, we'll just go through that, it was from Galatians, uh, chapter 5, verse 1, and, um, just to, I can make a point of it, the, uh, oh, that's right, it's backwards. Well, that says, if you were reading that in a mirror, it would say in IV. So this is the new international version that I'm reading. Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, it is for freedom that Christ has set us free. Stand firm then, and do not let yourselves be burdened again by a yoke of slavery. Um, yeah. So I hope that was interesting. I hope even more that it was um, helpful and like I say um, if you want to ask me any questions or discuss that any further leave a comment below um, but yeah that's it for Sunday sessions today we're going to leave it there and with that being said God bless look after each other and I will see you next time